Hi, this is Dr. Shane Batty, pathologist, and in this video I'll demonstrate how Pathobin Tools' new real-time stitching function works. Pathobin Tools is a Windows PC application, and for robust real-time stitching we recommend an Intel Core i7 or equivalent PC with at least 8GB of RAM. It may certainly still work with a lower spec PC, but your mileage will vary. This demonstration is using a MacBook Pro with Windows 8.1 installed. Pathobin Tools is included free with the Pathobin USB C mount camera and it will only work with this particular camera. Once you've installed the software you'll find a shortcut on the desktop. Double click that and Pathobin Tools will open. Now select the Pathobin camera from the menu bar on the left and the live view will be shown. Before starting the stitching we need to perform one step called flat field correction. This corrects any unevenness in the illumination of our view. All we need to do is remove the slide so we can see only the blank bright field view. Click capture and then check the enable box. You'll see the illumination becomes even across the live view. Now we're ready to stitch. Just click the stitching shortcut button from the top menu bar and the process starts. It's best to begin from one corner of the tissue and systematically move the microscope stage back and forth and up or down in rows to cover the entire area of tissue. Because I started in the bottom corner of this specimen, I'm moving up with each row. In this example, I'm using the 4 times objective lens on my microscope. You can use any power objective, but obviously the higher the power, the longer it will take to cover your specimen and the bigger your output image will become. Once you've covered all of the tissue area, just click the stitch button again to end the process and your final composite image will be shown. This recording is being shown in real time, so this is the speed at which you can expect to capture on an older PC such as mine. You'll notice as I'm moving across the specimen there is a green rectangle around the current frame, and this tells me my computer is keeping up with the speed I'm moving the stage. If I were to move too fast, the frame outline will become orange, warning me my stitching is struggling to find matching points between frames. And if it were to become red, then gaps will appear in the output. The key is to move at a pace that your computer can keep up with. Go to File in the menu bar and Save to save a copy to your hard drive. In this case, using the 4 times objective, the JPEG output of this specimen is 36 megapixels and 18 megabytes in size. In comparison, this other specimen I captured using the 10 times objective is 85 megapixels. For these sorts of images, a great way to store, share and view them is via the pathobin.com website. Registration and storage is completely free. They can be accessed by mobile or desktop and viewed through our advanced Zoom Viewer. The Pathobin USB camera and included Pathobin Tools software are available right now from our online store at store.pathobin.com. A lot of other features are also available in Pathobin Tools including annotation, measurement and image analysis. I'll cover how to perform these functions in detail in upcoming videos. For now, thanks for watching and head on over to the store.